hello my dear welcome once again to my channel this is your girl Nora and in this video I'm talking about how to support your partner who has anger issues yes are you new to my channel hit the subscribe button down below and the notifications bell so that every time I post a video you get notified yes follow my handles they are in the description below and to book your one-on-one -on -one counseling session Go to noraarake.com forward slash booking. To purchase any of our products, go to noraarake.com forward slash shop. Without further ado, let's get into this video. Now listen. Anger is a perfectly normal emotion and can be very helpful in identifying those things that are hurting us or situations in which we feel frustrated and out of control. The experience of anger itself is not the issue. It is how we express ourselves and deal with anger that may cause problems to arise. Many relationships, marriages, friendships, have ended because of how people have acted when they are angry, have behaved when they are angry. I want you to know that there are two main ways we can deal with anger, the dirty way and the clean way. Dirty anger is when we are blaming someone. We do not allow the other person to speak or to defend themselves. And we are not willing to listen. That's dirty anger. Clean anger can lead to a conversation and ultimately a solution to the problem. Dealing with a partner who is always angry can be so draining. It drains your own energy and that of the relationship. When anger is expressed in a negative way, it can undermine your well-being. It can weaken your relationship and it can leave you feeling frustrated and unheard. So, how are you then going to deal with a partner who has anger issues? How can you deal with anger in a healthy way? In a healthy way is the question here. And it's the same question I'm answering. Number one, de-escalate. Do not return anger with anger. Like I always tell you, never fight fire with fire. That is what is meant by diligence. Let your partner be angry and recognize that they will come down eventually. He can't be up there all the time. Returning anger with anger will only escalate the situation. When someone is angry, they are not thinking with their higher brain. They are using the lizard brain to think. When someone is angry, they are operating from their amygdala, which is part of the brain responsible for the fight or fight response and fear processing. So, give them the time and space to calm down. And then after, have a rational conversation. The calmer you remain, the quicker they will come down also. Number two, listen actively and assert yourself, but remember to be respectful. It's also important to consider your partner's needs, feelings, wishes, and to show them that you are considering these. People often become angry when they are feeling unheard, so it's important to make them know and feel that you are hearing them, you are listening to them, and you are considering them, and that you are making an effort to hear and understand them. Here, you are going to go beneath what they are saying in order to understand why they are saying it. What has led to the situation? And what are the deeper emotions? Here, Ask clarifying questions like, are you saying, is that correct? Active listening doesn't mean agreeing with everything that they are saying. 
It's about recognizing and considering the other person's perspective. Number three, be compassionate and have patience. It is very important to understand the more vulnerable emotions that anger is hiding, such as fear, hurt, sadness, and or pain. It is also likely that your partner is not able to is not able to safely access these emotions and address them. Anger allows your partner to feel powerful in the moment and in control in the face of these unwanted vulnerabilities. So be patient with your partner. It may also be too painful for you to confront them with these bigger emotions, these deeper emotions. But understanding the reasons behind the anger might help you to take a step back and reevaluate the situation. Number five, take some responsibility. Take responsibility for your role in being frustrated with your partner's anger. Reflect on what actions may have triggered that anger. In this space, reflect on what triggers you to behave the way you behave. So, the more aware that you and your partner become, the less reactive and more constructive you can be. Here, I want you to look at things in a broader way. Be empathetic. Put yourself in your partner's shoes. What if it was you? How would you react? How would you feel if such a thing has been done to you? This is going to help you so much to deal with your angry partner. Number six, address the conflict when you are both calm. As I said before, when you and your partner are angry or emotionally charged, your cognitive state is likely to be impaired. Avoid storming out and slamming doors. Avoid throwing things and breaking phones. Instead, calmly let your partner know that you need some time to calm down or that you are giving them time to calm down so that you can later come together and have a rational conversation. Use the time together and organize your thoughts so that you can have a constructive discussion later on. Number seven, lead by example and set boundaries. Trying to control someone who is angry is like waving a red flag at a bull, a charged bull. It is going to escalate the anger. Angry people often see themselves as trying to react to an unfair world. So they are likely to feel attacked if you try to point out that they are acting unfair. Therefore, lead by example, by remaining calm and coherent. If you are able to calm your partner down in this way, then go ahead and do so. This gives you space and time to think and also shows your partner a different way of dealing with anger and arguments. I wish you success as you try to deal with your angry. Thank you so much for watching my video. Don't forget to, to book your counseling appointment at noraarake.com forward slash booking and to purchase any of our products go to noraarake.com forward slash shop don't forget to follow my handles that i'm going to leave in the description below if you're new to my channel subscribe hit the subscribe button down below and the notifications bell so that every time i post a video you get notified thank you so much share this video like it and leave me a comment in the comment section see you in the next one bye